There's a lot on me, and I even had to seek mental health um, treatment behind me. Richard Faust is still haunted by his experience on Rikers Island, as the city jail made national headlines for what was called a humanitarian crisis. Faust was detained inside the jail for five weeks for menacing charges. He was released earlier this month. What they are suffering now on Rikers Island, you know, no food, no medical. Kelsey Diavola also knows the challenges on Rikers Island well. She's the jail services director of Brooklyn Defender Services. Tonight, Diavola has a new concern. What's looming ahead of us really is December 1st. There is a vaccine mandate for uniformed correction officers. And as of Tuesday, uh, it was released that uh, only 63% have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Diavola worries that if unvaccinated correction officers are removed from the city's payroll, more housing units will be left without guards, overstretching an already short-staffed jail. You need staff to be escorted to the clinic to receive your medical care, you know, medication, mental health services. In recent months, the mayor and corrections commissioner have both called out correction officers for excessively calling out sick, saying their actions place fellow officers and inmates in danger. Earlier this week, the federal monitor appointed to oversee the city's jail reported 119 jail staffers have been suspended for not showing up. Today, the president of the correction officers union explained to Pix 11 News. 1,200 correction officers have been assaulted in the last year. So this notion that we're out sick, you know, on purpose is just nonsense. There have been some improvements on Rikers Island after conditions within the overcrowded jail intake centers were exposed. People were, they were sleeping on the floor, shoulder to shoulder, feces next to them, um, trash. The city has now reduced the time inmates spend in intake centers to less than 24 hours.